the guys with the small purple worms problem? Yeah, yeah, horrible! They've been growing! Now they're these nasty snakes! Oh, that's nothing! You should see it when they turn into these large reptilian dragonfly crab things! That's when the party really gets started! Right. Oh, whoa! This place smells worse than gassy! Shh, Harry! You'll hurt Gassy's feelings. Gassy's very sensitive about the whole smell thing. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I believe we have a job to do here. Really? <laughs> well, let's get to it. I just made this mix yesterday. Since when does the genus evolve an immunity before it's exposed to the current mix of selenium? Look, guys, you're not helping here. Oil. Yeah, yeah, black gold, Texas tea. Big whoop, we're at an oil refinery. I know that, Harry. What I'm trying to say is, they're not immune to the selenium. It's the oil on their skin that's repelling the water base of the cylinder. Any suggestions on how to deal with them? Hey, maybe we can cover them with sand, like you do with the oil spills at my garage. This is a little different from the garage, Wayne. No, it isn't. Actually, Wayne, you're a genius. I am? Sand, everybody! There's gotta be sand around here somewhere. The good news is the sand works. So, what's the bad news? We're gonna need a lot more sand. That's close enough, Wayne. Let her rip. Good shot, Wayne! Nothing but net. Do you think that's enough sand, Dr. Kane? That ought to do it, kiddo. <laughs> And that's the game. Alienators 106, Genus Zip. Nada, the big goose egg. Harry! Look out! Find you! Didn't I tell you? The reptilian dragonfly crab kind of things are absolutely the worst. Good job, team. And your sand idea saved the day. Hey! So what do you think, Ira? About what? About some R&R. &R. You know, rest and recreation. New York is just a hop, skip, and a jump from here. We should get something more out of this trip than smelly genus samples. Wow, I've never been to New York. Well, that settles it. Wayne needs to see the city that never sleeps to experience all it has to offer. Museums, Yankee hmm. Stadium, Central Park, Madison Square Garden, delis, the Meadowlands, Broadway shows. Broadway shows? Yes! Human comedy and tragedy intricately woven together and accentuated by tuneful songs, swelling underscores, and heartbreaking lyrics. Oops. Huh? <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> My vote is for New York. <laughs> okay then, New York it is. You know, Lieutenant, I can't wait to tell General Woodman and Dr. Reed what a fan you are of Broadway musicals. Uh, or I could just not mention it. Uh, at all. Uh, Ever? Ooh, parking space. And there's even time on the meter? This is my lucky day! I'll be right back. The truck needs gas. Well, I'll get tickets. What'll it be? Mets? Yankees? Knicks? Uh... Right. Broadway show. How could you forget? No. 
I'm pretty sure I saw a gas station a while back. There it is. It's okay, Gassy. It's just like the refinery smell. It's the gasoline. Don't worry, Gassy. There's no genus here. Your car, it's parked in a red zone on the sidewalk in front of a fire hydrant. Mm. Lady, is this your car? No. I mean, yes. I, I mean, no. Pick one, lady. It's either your car or it isn't. It's my car. I parked it over there. It moved somehow. <laughs> I know this little deli right near Madison Square Garden that makes the best corned beef sandwich. Excuse me. Anyone who knows New York knows the real delis are in Brooklyn. What do you think, Ira? Uh, I'm thinking Italian. I know a really great Italian place down in the village. Ready, Harry? You promised to show me around, remember? I'm on it, Wayne. Tell you what. You two do Brooklyn or Italian while I give Wayne the guided Harry Block tour of the Big Apple. There's a Big Apple here? Come on, Ira. Broadway awaits. <laughs> I guess I'll just go with Lieutenant Lucy. Best corned beef sandwich you're gonna find in this hemisphere. And the knishes, uh, Don't get me started on the knishes. Uh, I don't think I can eat anymore. You're right, Wayne. Maybe we should eat later. Oh! Uh, Sorry, miss, but this show is all sold out. It can't be! We've seen every show in town except this one. Every show? Really? I don't believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Ugh. What are we going to do now? Don't worry. This is New York. There's always something going on. Huh? huh? <laughs> What did I tell you? Ira, LT, you're not going to believe this, but... Genus-infested cars are running rampant all over the city, terrorizing crowds of helpless people? How'd you know that? Because they went that way. Over there, Wayne. <laughs> the brakes! I can't stop it! What happened, Wayne? Oh, I don't know. The brakes, they wouldn't work, and then they did. Just 
Calm down, Cassie. Yes, we know. The genus affected cars are all over the place. Not for long, if we can help it. Doc, it's using the body of the car to protect itself. We'll have to get inside. Let's just open the door. LT, take the devolver. Talk about your toxic emissions. Gas tank. Maybe we can get in through there. It should feed right into where the engine used to be. That's a perfect plan, Wayne. <gasps> sure, if it works. Harry and I'll run interference. You two fill the tank with selenium. There. Now it's just a car again. With a cracked manifold, punctured radiator, and a thrown rod, this baby isn't going anywhere for a while. Hmm. <sighs> There's no telling how many cars were infected. Literally. No heat signature? Worse, too many heat signatures. The heat from the engines is overwhelming the heat signatures of the genus. You looking for show tunes? No. Traffic reports. Even in New York, a car walking around on purple tentacles is newsworthy. And we're getting reports of a driverless SUV making a mess over by the fish market. Ha! Genus. Hit it, Wayne. This is not a good time for engine trouble. Hold on, Dr. Kane. This old truck hasn't let us down yet. See? What I tell you. Talk about blood and engine. about cars with legs. Finally, good news. Looks like we did our job. But we are hearing about four crazy people tearing around the Midtown area in a fire truck. Hey, we made the news. <laughs> Wayne, where exactly did you gas up? Uh, some station across town. I got a really great price. Uh, call me crazy. Something tells me this is a bad thing. Ah! Nope, you're definitely not crazy. Everyone out! Now! Ah! Ah! It's got our truck! Never mind that. It's got our devolving gear. We're weaponless. Guys, it's wearing 500 gallons of selenium on its back. That's got to be to our advantage. Come on, let's go for a ride. Huh? She's a genius, but don't tell her I said so. The tank's in the center. Here it comes! Jump! My poor baby. Wayne, you didn't get gas at an osculant oil station, did you? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. The same as the refinery? But we stopped that outbreak. Oh, somehow we must have missed the truck. Hey, taxi! Over here! Woohoo! Taxi! Well, there's no time to worry about that now. Let's move. <whistles> do you know where the nearest osculant oil station is? I sure do. Hop in. I know a shortcut. Yeah, I've heard all about New York cabbies and their shortcuts. We'll probably wind up in Connecticut. Hey, that really was a shortcut. Is this the one, Wayne? 
I'm not sure. But yes, he is. Now entering the game for the genus, the big nasty walking environmental disaster. That looks like immunity to me in record time. Follow that gas station. Hey, I was gonna say that. Never heard that one before. And I've heard them all. Follow that truck. Follow that cab. Follow that just right! Right. So what now, Ira? Do we need more sand? Sand won't help us with this one. It's evolved and it's incorporated gasoline into its body chemistry. What we need is... A product that breaks down or removes petroleum deposits? Yeah, yeah, that would be perfect. It would help us devolve it from the inside. Ah, that's easy. Engine cleaner. I use it all the time. Sir, we need to get to the nearest auto parts store. No problem. Woodman's gonna pay for this, right? I still haven't been reimbursed for all those pine-scented car fresheners we bought in France. Hey, come on, Harry. We're not just saving the world here. We're saving New York City. We need to locate that monster. Empire State Building. I heard on the radio there's a monster climbing it. Figure it's yours. Good point. Empire State Building it is. No, police headquarters. What, you want backup? No, a helicopter. Come on, get in. Hey, you can't take that. Don't worry, I'm authorized. It's okay. We're chasing a gas station. for a high spot to take off. If it gets to the top and completes its evolution, we'll lose it. Not an option. You ready, Harry? Suited up and ready to play, LT. Can you get any closer? I can't get a shot. Oh, I wouldn't think it would be this hard to knock a gas station off the Empire State Building. We're gonna have to get under it. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Lieutenant. And that gas station looks like it's gonna fall apart. There's no other way, Wade. Harry, it's up to you. The bottom of the night and the bases are loaded. Now you're talking my language, LT. Let's hit this one out of the park. So, did you get it? I don't know. I can't tell. Never a dull moment in this town. So, who's hungry? The food here will make you glad we came to New York, even if we did almost get routed by a gas station. And the best thing about this place is that nobody knows it's even here. Be about 40 minutes for a table, huh? Well, you're right, Harry. I am so glad we came to New York. It's worth the wait, really. Oh, Gassy. Uh, a couple of tables just opened up. Well, imagine that. I'm on 
on my way, Chief. Chief, I've got the baby. It's fine. Don't worry, kiddo. You're safe. Fire Chief Lazar. Okay, test completed. Turn off the fire. Way to go, kiddo. Oh, what a play. <laughs> well done, Wayne. So, how'd I do? Did I pass? Come on, did I? Wayne, I'm impressed by your commitment, your ambition, and the fact that you just won't take failed for an answer. Congratulations, Fireman Green. Well, kiddo, you, after years of diligent study and practice, you're finally a firefighter. Yeah, Dr. Kane, it's always been my dream. We know. For as long as I can remember. We know. Since I was just a gleam in your daddy's eye. We know. So I guess this means you'll be leaving the team. What? No, no, no way. I'll just fight fires during the day and battle the genus at night. Or I can extinguish fires during the week and fight outbreaks on the weekends. I know if there's an outbreak during my lunch hour, then I could... Kiddo, this is your big chance. We can't stand in your way. It's more important for you to follow your dream. You have to take a shot. Wayne, you and I will always be friends. I can't believe I'm leaving you behind. <clears throat> Wayne? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys, too. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you most of all, Gassy. Now you be good to Dr. Kane and bring him his Petri dishes. And don't bury a satellite link in the yard at me. And don't... Fireman Green, we have to move out. You got it, Chief. Well, he didn't say fireman in training. Wow. Fireman Green! <laughs> Go on, Gassy. You two belong together. Go, go on. <laughs> oh, good, Gassy. I guess you are. I guess you are. I made some modifications to the fire truck. You know, it's only been two days, but I can't believe how much I miss Wayne around here. And Gassy, that little stink monster. Will you pull yourselves together? Hmm. We all miss Wayne and Gassy, but Wayne's out there living his life's dream. And we have to learn to live with it. Hello? Wayne? Hi, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Well, I really miss hanging out with you guys. Things are a little different here. Haven't you made any new friends? Well, I did, but they kind of got freaked out when I grew a third arm. Oh, well, don't worry about that. It'll all work out. Uh, Wayne, I gotta go. All right, it's clear that we miss Wayne and Gassy. But we can all agree that we have a duty... To be ready to fight the genus. We need to find a new fourth member of the Alienators. And to do Gassy's job, we're gonna need a new genus detective. I created the first Gassy. I'll just repeat the experiment, maybe make a few modifications. Could you make one with a great fresh pine tree smell? You know, in honor of Wayne. Yeah, works for me. Thanks for coming. It's great to see such a turnout. I want to start by being honest with all of you. The life of an alienator isn't easy. We've had to face many dangerous incarnations of the genus. And the genus never gives up. You've got to fight it tooth and nail sometimes. Yes. Take, for instance, the time we fought our way across the Himalayas and almost got crushed by that huge avalanche. Or that time in that volcanic <gasps> pit full of burning chlorine gas. And those three-headed apes bit our weapons in half. And 
Remember when we were in Singapore, when we had to fight hand to hand with the vicious genus scorpion? And they ripped the top off the fire truck and jumped down on us? Uh, but, uh, wait, you don't understand. It's wonderful being an alienator. It requires discipline, c courage, bravery, endurance, selflessness. <coughs> so, Deke, Derek, do you want the job? Well, that depends, Professor Block. Um, will there be a test? And does the job come with snack benefits? I'm really missing Wayne right now. Chief, when are we going out on a call? It's a small town, Wayne. We don't get a lot of fires. But be ready. Well, isn't there something I can be doing? Like, modifying the fire truck? No, not ever again! Well, can't I do something? Um, cook lunch, maybe? You the guy that cooked the anchovy and chocolate souffle for breakfast? Oh, yeah, that was me. Eh, uh, then no. You know, Gassy, I'm starting to really miss being an alienator. So, these are the new Waynes. Uh, Dr. Kane, our names are Deke and Derek, but we could change them to Wayne if it'll make things easier. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm a genius. I think I can handle two new names, Deke. I'm Derek. Whatever. Let's start your training with an introduction to the genus. These are highly active, evolutionary, unstable genus cells. We have to be extremely careful. If even a single cell escapes, it could evolve into an outbreak that could destroy all of humankind. Understand? Destroy, destroy all humankind. humankind. You got it, Dr. Kane. Mm. I will create yet another perfect genus detective, Gassy version 2.0. It should be a scientific masterpiece. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Kane, this science stuff's making my brain hurt. Can we go do Wayne type things now? Yeah, yeah, sure, well, whatever, knock yourselves out. You got it, Dr. Kane! Now, with a little carefully measured mixture of genius and genus, we will fill Gassy's shoes. If Gassy had shoes. Always wanted to say that. Wayne, I hate to have to say this, but some of the guys want you to have your uh dog sleep outside. Say it's stinking up the place. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen of the alienators, I present to you Gassy 2.0. Check this out. Gassy 2.0 smells fine fresh. I managed to harness the evolutionary abilities of the unstable genus cells to make some alterations. Well, Gassy 2.0 will never be able to replace the original Gassy, but it is a work of genius. <laughs> of genius always do that? Uh, I I'm sure it's just a small technical glitch. <laughs> uh, why don't you wait outside while I fix it? Tom, do you need a hand in there? Uh, no, it's okay. Trust me, I'm a genius. Okay, uh, now don't panic. I've got everything under control. Ooh, at least it smells better, right? Doc, I have to tell you, Gassy 2.0 looks a lot like Scopes. Yeah. I see the resemblance. Pathetic human, trying to meddle with evolution. We shall destroy you! <laughs> uh, perhaps.
Perhaps I should mention, I made Gassy 2.0 immune to blue goo, just like the original Gassy, to be helpful in the heat of action. Helpful to who, exactly? Don't worry, guys. We'll save you. Yeah, we're alienators, too. Meddling ways will be your own undoing. Uh. Oh, you didn't brush your teeth this morning, did you, Scopes? Not so fast, huh? Spokes. Put Dr. Kane down! Uh, Deke, that's Scopes, and what are you doing with that containment jar? Saving your backside, Dr. Kane! Time to hit that thing with some of the old purple goo. Purple goo? No, Derek, don't! Humans, we shall see the world, Regenus. Thanks to you, Cain, today will prove to be the end of your species. Don't count your genus pods before they hatch, Scopes. Stop them! <laughs> I'm putting a trace on Scopes' location. With those genus cells, he could germinate enough outbreaks to take over the world within a matter of hours. We should notify General Woodman immediately. And tell him what? That the leader of the alienators has just created mankind's worst nightmare and unleashed it into the world with the means to destroy civilization faster than the general can say, Kane, I've waited for this for a long time. There. Saddle up, people. We'll just get our stuff. Oh, I'm really, really missing Wayne right now. What the heck is this? We just did what Wayne would have done if he were us, Dr. Kane. Yeah, we modified the fire truck and turned it into the big cheese wagon. I don't care what you call it. Let's get after Scopes. Oh, you guys have been busy. I see you've noticed the convenient nacho holders. <laughs> yes, thank you, boys. They're very convenient. Now can we go before Scopes and the genus take over the world? You got it, Dr. Kane. <laughs> Backwards, they'll never see us coming. Oh, I'm really, really, really missing Wayne right now. I'll just call and see what Dr. Kane and the gang are up to. Um, they're probably out having fun saving the world or something. Okay, I've tracked Scopes to an abandoned paint factory on the edge of town. We have to get there fast. Deke, Derek, hit it. Uh, uh, hit what, Dr. Kane? The gas pedal! Okay, hit it, uh, with what, Dr. Kane? Hmm. Over there! Humans, you are just in time. We shall witness the birth of the genus and the destruction of the human race! aren't immune to the blue goo. This will be over in seconds. Yeah, especially since we modified Harry's devolver. You did what? Eek! Derek! D Harry, forget it, there's no time. Lieutenant, use the selenium in the truck. It's... nacho cheese? Of course it is! We dumped out all that smelly dandruff shampoo and filled the fire truck tanks with nacho cheese. 
how else could we call it the big cheese wagon? Ugh. As if grotesque, chemically altered bugs weren't enough. Now they're covered in cheese. Deke, Derek, grab the spare petri dishes. Derek, throw the petri dish. You got it, Dr. Kane. Not at me, at the millipede. Oh, okay. Got him. I'll save you, bro. Uh, what do we do now? Duck! Those starfish sure are cute little guys. <laughs> Can we keep them as pets? I want to name this one Timmy. Uh, no. I think I'll keep them if you don't mind. <laughs> Fire Chief Lazar, we had a call reporting a warehouse fire at an abandoned paint factory. The witness has also reported seeing a huge purple pod of some kind. Genus. Hey guys, it's Dr. Keen, what happened? See Wayne, you go away for two days and suddenly the human race is in danger. We need you. Is there any chance you can put this fire out? It's too far gone. Safest thing to do would be to let it burn out. Uh, believe me, that would not be the safest thing. If this fire continues, that pot is going to grow beyond our capabilities to devolve it. Chief, Dr. Kane, I think I have an idea. Come on, Gassy. <laughs> Way to go, Wayne! Oh! Humans, we will destroy you! In order to devolve scopes, I have to work out what went wrong with Gassy 2.0. Uh, nacho cheese, Dr. Kane? No, thanks, Deke. I thought I accounted for the instability of the genus cells. Something must have contaminated me. Nacho cheese, Dr. Kane? It's nacho cheesy good. No, thanks, Derek. I am not in a nacho cheesy mood. Of course! That's it! Nacho cheese! Somehow the cells were contaminated with nacho cheese. Dude, uh, how could that have happened? We have to break down that contaminant to devolve the genus. What we need is an enzyme able to digest cheese. We need lactase. Got it. Harry, heads up! Humans, you have lost! Do not prolong your agony. Accept your defeat. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Whoops, almost forgot. Hey, Ira, next time you want to try to create a genetically altered, evolutionarily stable genus creature to replace Gassy, just don't. Chief, I'm sorry. As much as I want to be a fireman someday, right now, I'm an alienator. My place is with my friends. They need me, and I need them. Fireman Green, you're a brave, hard-working, selfless young man. Albeit with a third arm on your chest, we're gonna miss you. But it's clear you're doing the right thing. It's good to have you back, kiddo. Now, let's get out of here. You got it, Dr. Kane. Wayne, uh, that's the, uh, emergency nacho cheese button. Dude, we're gonna need some more chips. Father, please stop pacing like that and listen to me. I'm not leaving until we talk. Besides, I'm sure everything will be fine. They're just books. Just books? 
How can you say such a thing? It's my life's research. Father, you've always been obsessed with your work. Open your eyes. This place, for instance, is falling apart. No servants will work for you. The roof on the east wing has all but caved in. If Mother were here... You needn't have come. You see, my work. I'm a very busy man and... The exterminator. I called you three days ago. What took you so long? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, Governor. A bit of a drive coming out here takes the whole day. I would prefer it if you simply did your job with your mouth closed. Father? Not right now, Rebecca. I discovered some horrid little purple worms three days ago in the library. As I was saying, three days ago, I discovered the first worm. Mm. The next day, there were more. And yesterday, the entire library was flooded with them. Uh, yeah, I can see they're, uh, they're everywhere. But there were thousands of them. Maybe you imagined them, living on your own and all, mind playing tricks. I live alone so that I do not have to bear with such incompetence and insolence. Ooh, well, aren't we high and mighty, eh? What? what? Ah! I can't wait to see Lord Bradbury. Why is that? You guys pen pals from Bang Camp or something? No, he's just one of the world's finest scientists. He's an expert on the human brain. He laid the groundwork on hypnosis and mind control. I've read everything he's written. He's so dreamy. I don't expect you guys to understand how important meeting Lord Bradbury really is. He's a genius. Um, Wayne? Yeah, Dr. Kane? Wrong side of the road again. Ah. Sorry. Human, you are ours now. We have studied your science, your work on the human brain, but we need to know more. We need you to teach us. Teach you? Never. the secrets of your weak human brains, your hypnotism, your mind control. You will help us. Father? Poor, pathetic, helpless humans. So fragile. Ah! Please stop. Not my Rebecca. She's all I have. Uh you will help us. Yes. Yes. Uh Whatever you want. That is a good human. Uh, we're not gonna fit through that archway. Who says we have to? Hang on, guys. I'm gonna ram it. No, Wayne, you can't. This is Lord Bradbury's house. This is the house of the man who mapped the synchronistic firing of bilateral synapses in the human brain. Meaning? Meaning we park here and walk up. Once you push the human mind past its ability to maintain a conscious state, the unconscious mind becomes submissive, easier to access, if you will. Someone's at the door. I wasn't expecting any visitors. I swear it. Pathetic human. Silence! We know who it will be. Cain. So sadly predictable. It is time for us to experiment with these new techniques you've been teaching us. Cain will be the perfect test case. What if he's not home? What if we came all this way and he isn't even home? Then we look for the outbreak. Mm. If there even is one, devolve it and go home without ever seeing Bradbury. Let's knock again. It's a big place. He probably has to walk a long way. Can I help you? Uh, sir. I mean, Dr. Bradbury. Your Lordness! Oh, wow, it's such an honor. It's, it's, wow, wow, Lord Bradbury! Uh, Lieutenant, did you bring the camera? Sorry to bother you, sir, but we picked up a call in our international scanner about purple worms. We're here to investigate. No, no, I can assure you that was all a mistake. Uh, but please, do come inside. It's so seldom I get visitors. Can I offer you some tea? Crumpets? A warm fire? 
Yes, yes, yes! You know, sir, I am a huge fan of your work. If I could just ask you a few questions about your research on internal communications between left brain and right brain across the cerebral cortex, well, it would really make my day. It would be my pleasure. Do come in. This is so great. Come on, come on. It's fascinating. Yeah, Gassy here started out as an experiment, but now is a member of the family. I can show you all the files how I created Gassy if you want. Yes, I would like that. Uh, I just wanted to say, Lord Bradbury, I found your work on hypnosis and mind control to be quite fascinating. But I did want to talk to you about your most recent article on repressed memory. Come on, Wayne. We need to make a sweep of the perimeter. Something's not right about Lord Bradbury. Well, he seems okay. And for a scientist guy, he's got great food. Gassy, come here, boy. Girl, whatever. What the? Genus! and warn the others. I can't tell you what a thrill it is to see your library. That is, if I could actually see it. Maybe you should turn a light on or something. After all, you know what they say about reading in the dark. Lord Gregory? <sighs> Harry, wait. The genus is here. Where? Outside in the garden. I got the ones I found, but I bet there's more. Where's Dr. Kane? Bradbury wanted to show him something in the library. Which way did they go? I don't know. Out into the hall. We need to get to the bottom of this before it's too late. Something tells me it is too late. Give you a hint. It's not Kansas. It looks like a dungeon. And me without my devolver. Shh. Did you hear that? What? Well, I don't like the sound of that. And I definitely don't like the looks of it either. Uh, can anybody reach their weapons? Look, Gassy can. Come on, Gassy. Get the devolver. <laughs> Gassy! Come on, get the devolver! Go on, go on! Oh, way to go, Gassy. Well, I think he's hmm. like enough. Uh, uh. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. If by all right, you mean dizzy, disoriented, and a little nauseous. What happened? I know you. I've seen your picture. You're Rebecca Bradbury. Oh, it must have been great growing up with a guy like Lord Bradbury as your father. Honestly, think how lucky you were. Lucky? No. Of course, it was different when Mother was alive. I I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Kane, we knew you would join us, and we are very... 
know that voice. Scopes! Right, well, since you two seem to know each other, I'll be going now so you two can stroll down memory lane and what have you. You know, I, I don't want to intrude and all. Ta! Uh, um, uh, bye now. Uh, uh bye. Oh, oh, can't blame a bloke for trying. Come on, Yassi. Bring us the devolver. Come on, big Yassi, yeah. Okay, let's find a way out of here. Too high that way. Oh, there's got to be another way. Hold on. Come on, Gassy. Joe. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll get ya. <coughs> <coughs> Hey, let's go. All the comforts of home. If home were a dark castle dungeon that looks like it was decorated by Vlad the Impaler. Mm, looks like the only way out of here is across that pit. If I'd have known we were going swimming, I would have packed my swim trunk. Second thought? It's grown immune to the selenium. <laughs> well, duh. Wait, give me your axe. And I'm gonna need your bow staff, too. Why? You'll see. Just give it to me. Well, I haven't done this since my days on the track and field team in high school. But here goes nothing. enough to teach us everything he knows. Dr. Bradbury, how could you? His emotions were his weakness. You predictable humans and your overbearing emotions, you will soon learn how weak you truly are. At least we have the capability for independent thought. Not for long, Whoa. Kane. Not for long. <sighs> no! Look away! <sighs> Stairs. Up is good. I like up. No! Another dead end! You know, I'd like to find the guy who built this place and give him a piece of my... Whoa! Ow! Harry! Oh, are you okay? Couldn't be better. <laughs> We're right back where we started. Hmm. We need a map. The satellite link! Just download the blueprints from the National Royal Registry of Historic Landmarks and voila, I got the map. Bradbury Castle is most famous for its remarkably intact medieval dungeon. <laughs> Been there, done that. And its comprehensive library of rare works. Uh -oh. <gasps> what is it, Wayne? <sighs> um, you take it. <laughs> Hey, this isn't so bad. Look, I've got a green thumb. Hey, I thought it was funny. Great, kid. All right, let's find Dr. Kane. This should be the library. I'm going in. Hello, Harry Block. Ira, the coast is clear. Where's the genus? I destroyed them. Gone. All gone. And the pod, too. Let's go home. You okay, Ira? Doc, where's Lord Bradbury? Who? Hmm. The genus is destroyed. <laughs> Harry, watch out! Whoa. 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 Ira, will 
just get off the bench and into the game? Pitiful humans. Your species will learn to serve us in your own demise. It is a game you cannot win. You will all learn in due time. I would do something. What's the matter with you? This place is full of books on hypnosis. Scopes must have found a way to control Ira's mind. Control his mind? No way. Ira couldn't fall for that. Kane. Yes. To the dungeon. Oh, not again. Oh! Mm. Ah, ah. Dr. Kane, what are you doing? It's me, Wayne. Destroy him! Ooh, that looks sharp! Dr. Kane, you gotta step out of it! You're stronger than Scopes! Resist, Amira! You can do it! Please, Dr. Kane! It's me, Wayne! <sighs> Dr. Kane, I just wanted you to know, no hard feelings. You're still the best. I mean, when you're not mind-controlled. Wayne? Kiddo? Dr. Kane! Hmm. No! no! It doesn't work! Worthless human knowledge, it doesn't work! <laughs> Wayne, buy me some time, kiddo, while I make a new mix. You got it, Dr. Kane. Does this have trilomethrin in it? I need the toxicity level for a new mix. You're a genius, mate. I just sprayed a bug. Suppose it doesn't mean I'll collect the check. Just have to hope this works. Wait, can you slow scopes down? I'll try, Dr. Kane. For a minute. Yeah, but the way you took down scopes was wicked. Thanks. Uh, sorry about almost doing you in back there, Wayne. Oh, it's okay. I'm just glad you're back to normal, Dr. Kane. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Oh, this mate of yours, this monster, wanted to learn how to control minds? Well, what sort of fuss? What could he do? Well, think of it. If he had been successful, he could have controlled minds of important people all over the world. Just imagine politicians and world leaders under the control of someone else. An evil influence. Oh, yeah, imagine that. Luckily, Scopes made one very important mistake. He believed that human emotion was our greatest weakness. But in fact, it's our greatest strength. Hmm. He's not the only one who learned that today. Ever since Rebecca's mother passed away, I've tried to stifle my emotions so I would not have to feel the pain. But now I know what a grave mistake that was. I'm sorry, my dear. <coughs> Oi, that monkey stole my scone. Come on, Gassy, give it back. Gassy. Oh. Uh, no, that's uh, that's all right. You, uh, <laughs> you, you can keep it. <laughs> 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 